Spring bulk day eight, baby. Today we're doing forearms, biceps, and back in that order. You might be asking, Max, why do you want humongous succulent forearms? Why are you putting them first in the workout? Because I want succulent, huge, you know, horse, horse meat all over my forearms, okay? Like, when was the last time you saw a horse that didn't have a ton of muscle and you just were amazed? Like, even if they look like a skinny horse, for all, like, they could literally just, like, trample you, even if they're a small horse. So just think about that. Next time you see a horse, put a little more respect on it. That's the kind of meat that I want on my forearms, okay? Dude, just a lean, massive tissue all over the, the front and the back. Dude, and I think I'm on my way there, all right? Uh, my goal is to have my forearms be an inch behind my upper arm, okay? And even then, I should probably shift the goalpost and say equal with my upper arm. Because if I set the goal lower, I'm probably going to end up even lower than my goal. You know what I'm saying? So, shoot for the moon and reach the stars type of deal. So, here's what I'm going to do. All right? Wrist curls to start off the session. Heavy. I said I wasn't going to go heavy, but my, my ligaments and tendons and everything, they feel recovered. Uh... I tweaked my bicep tendon or something, or not even my tendon, it was like right in the muscle. Like I tweaked that last week on preacher curls a little bit, felt really weird for like four days, but I'm good now. So we're still gonna go heavy on everything. Um, obviously I'm gonna be smart, I'm not gonna snap out of the bottom or anything. And um, we're gonna try to PR. I wanna get either 105 for five on wrist curls, or I wanna get 100 for like six or seven. So that's the PR we're gonna hit. And this is a dumbbell, guys, by the way. This isn't machine weight or anything. This is a straight up 100 pound dumbbell, okay? Uh, preacher curls, we're gonna try to hit a PR, go for 55 for like six. Good, solid range of motion. And this is single arm dumbbell. Again, I love dumbbells, man. Uh, hammer strength row. I might switch the exercise. I might switch it because I'll tell you guys this. I've been thinking about it for a couple weeks now when I go on this hammer strength row it's super uneven so I like to do one arm right and before I used to do two arms I never noticed that it was uneven but when I do my left I can get real tight and close to my body and I don't feel like the weight is away from me and I have to like stabilize my core whereas on the right side okay when I grab the right freaking handle I feel like my obliques are contracting so hard just to hold the weight and I can't get my elbow in as close. So it's definitely further away from my body. And uh, I just feel like I'm much more under control of my left. But we'll see what happens. There's another hammer strength machine that I kind of want to try. It's like an over overhead pull down. I want to rip down like freaking four or five plates, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So that and then we're probably going to do some kind of lat pull down i've been switching the variation every week uh just back and forth so not any like huge difference but i just kind of do whatever's open and usually if the lat pull down isn't open the machine pull down is open and uh, i kind of like the way both feel so i don't have an issue doing either then we're going to do well before that t-bar rows before lat pull downs we do t-bar rows i want to go super heavy on it i want to go for like four plates and a 25, uh, and that should be a solid PR. I wanna get up on this bulk to like six or seven plates on the T-bar row. Boys, PR's everywhere, PR's everywhere, right? We gotta slam this freaking Gorilla Mode and Gorilla Mind freaking collagen and creatine. Three, two, one, go. I am not affiliated with Gorilla Mind, okay? But I will say, maybe this is a coincidence, I don't know. My wrist and bicep and all that crap that my shoulder was hurting a little bit. <coughs> just from my recent heavy, heavy sessions, you know. And I've been taking this for like four or five days in a row now. And I don't feel any pain. So that's part of the reason why I feel comfortable freaking wrist curling, you know, super freaking heavy today. I mean, but it depends on when I get there. If I feel bad when I get there, you know, then I'll, uh, 
I'll go light like I planned last week. But if I feel good, heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. All right, boys, we got the first coffee blending. Or not blending, freaking brewing in the Believe mug, okay? We downed our collagen. We downed our creatine. Liquid power, okay? But that's not even liquid power compared to the real liquid power, okay? Yesterday was one of the most carved up freaking workouts ever. Probably in Mac Sharky history. Let's see. Two tablespoons is 25 carbs. So I would have to have freaking eight tablespoons to have 100 carbs. So, boys... We're going to make some Kodiak cakes in order to have a, a nice structural base layer of carbohydrates to drench the syrup all over the pancakes. All right. All right, boys, we're stirring up the freaking pancake mix. Here's the thing. If you get Kodiak cakes, right, you can't just, I mean, you can eat them with nothing on them. But, I mean, you're boring if you do that. I think you got to definitely put on, at the very least, chocolate chips while they're cooking. And then, at the end, if you are actually trying to be serious about getting carbs in, have syrup all over the pancake. And then have whipped cream also, just for pure enjoyment, like me. I don't need whipped cream whatsoever, but I put it on because I like it. All right, boys, we kind of flipped the pancake in a silly manner, but all right, boys, it's a little burnt, but a little bit of extra crust never hurt anybody. We got 24 ounces of coffee, a rambunctious amount of maple syrup being poured onto the pancake. Wow, look at how good this is. Wow, look at how good this is. Wow, look at how good this is. All right, fantastic. All right, I will see you guys in the gym. All right, I think I found my limit. 105 pounds seems to be just about a one rep max. I'm still gonna attempt to rep it out on the right arm. I wanna get at least three on the right arm, but I definitely had to prepare for that mentally. So, we're just gonna stick to one set of this, I think. Maybe we'll do two the second set lighter, maybe like 80 or 85 or something. Whew. Whew. All right. I think what I'm gonna do next week is go down back to 100 because getting work in with the 100 was a lot more solid.
So those of you who say I can't control this, just watch. As mentioned before, we're gonna do freaking single arm dumbbell curls. I feel pretty good about the wrist curls we did earlier. I've never, ever, ever controlled 80 like that, so that was really cool. Let's see how this feels, and if it feels light, we'll go up to 60. All right, that felt light. Oh. It moves really well on the left. 60 was awesome on the left. But on the right, it just I just felt a lot weaker. So, has a little interesting, but that's not gonna stop us.
All right, we're gonna move on to some heavy rows. I don't know what kind. All right, I saw one of my uh, gym bro heroes doing super heavy weight on this freaking Eric Bugenhagen. I hope you guys know who he is. He was just wrote, like rambunctiously pulling five plates on this, and I want to do something similar today, just explosive. All right. Put the seat, oh, I can put the seat down. Let's freaking go. So that was extremely light, and I'm looking forward to the next steps. Just an FYI, I do have low exposure on it, because I feel like it's gonna look cooler. At least for these sets. Freaking T bar row. All right, boys. So that was a high quality workout. It was actually fairly low volume compared to what I normally do, but I didn't feel like I needed to do lap pull downs. I kind of got some, I guess, like hybrid work by doing a more diagonal pull instead of just a overhead and then a, you know, horizontal pull. You know, I really, 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 really enjoyed. Uh, those freaking, you know, I don't even know what those called. Those hammer strength like pull downs, you know what I mean? 
and just togging down five plates like it was nothing. So with that said, uh, I kind of, the pump is a little faded because I was talking to people, but you guys can see the veins are still kind of out thanks to the glycogen from the sun-kissed and maple syrup combo earlier. Hence why I call this the maple syrup and sun-kissed pump. All right. funny because even without a chest and shoulder pump I feel like my chest and shoulders are pumped just from eating so many freaking carbs Instead of front lat spread. All right, we're gonna head out. Boys, we're back home again. This time I have no idea what to make myself. I think I'm just gonna slop together bread, whatever meat's available, and turn it into a rambunctious sandwich. You know, if we have cheese, we could put cheese on it. Might even have peanut butter, you know, with whatever else and just see what happens. But boys, I will see you whenever I get that made. All right, boys, so we got the freaking chicken sandwich with some herb turkey, Tuscan herb turkey, slices all over the place, melted cheese, toasted bread with some Japanese, you know, barbecue or whatever it is from Kinder, which is the greatest freaking seasoning company ever. And then we got Chick-fil-A sauce, some random Hershey kisses, and Oikos, we're probably going to throw some whipped cream on that, and then eggs with some grilled, a giant piece of grilled chicken. Anyway. I hope you guys freaking enjoyed this video. We had an amazing back day today. I rambunctiously pulled tons of weight. It was amazing to me how light the weight felt. Uh, and just the strength jump. My strength increased by like 10, 15%, something like that, just from being in a surplus. So I'm curious to see how leg day goes. Anyway, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you tomorrow.